you can see I'm still working on those turbochargers for my 603 diesel here and I have some good news to report and some not so good news. So let's start out with the good news first. This is the Garrett T3 turbo from a 603 engine that's a 1986 to 1987 300 SDL, 300D or 300 TD. Now that's Garrett, not KKK. And I have been able to successfully overhaul this turbocharger. It has a complete rebuild kit in the center section. I have a brand new compressor wheel and a brand new turbine wheel and shaft installed. So as far as Garrett's concerned, we have solved the problem in sourcing the parts. Um, the kit comes as a complete assembly of small parts that goes inside the turbocharger. And a lot of times, you know, just replacing those internal seals and bushings is not enough for these old turbos. This one in particular had really, really excessive wear on these turbine blades here. So I had to install a new, a new turbine um, blade and shaft assembly. And then of course the, the compressor wheel on this one looks like it had ingested water because it had literally worn the edges of this compressor wheel right down to almost nothing. So we were able to source that part as well. So currently I will be able to offer a complete rebuild kit for the Garrett Turbo. Now let's move on to the KKK Turbo. Uh, hey, this, this is still a little bit of a problem. I was a little bit, um, should I say, disappointed to find out that KKK, even within the turbocharger designation, now these turbos are called the K24 Turbo for the 603 engines. And I thought, hey, if I just order up a kit, if I just order up an overhaul kit for a K24 a 24 turbo, everything should be fine because when you order an overhaul kit for a Garrett T3, you can expect some st sort of standardization, but not so with this KKK turbo. That kit came in and right away, I'm looking at the bushings for the turbine uh, shaft and look at that, they're not even the same size. So apparently, even within the center section of the K24 turbo, there are some variations in the size of the bushings and in the size of the turbine shaft. So I don't, when I find this out, I don't like this because it means you're gonna have a VIN split, you're gonna have problems with people getting the wrong parts. If the factory can't have some sort of standardization, it creates a tremendous problem for us who try to supply these old parts to people who wanna restore these turbochargers themselves. So, as far as KKK is concerned, uh, we're not there yet. We're going to have to do some more research and dig, do some more digging to see if we can actually find the parts. Uh, take, take a look at this uh, KKK uh, turbine wheel that I pulled out of my own personal 300 SDL. Look at the wear on those veins. It's extreme. So I'm not even going to be able to install uh, my turbo back in my own car unless I'm able to find this part here as well as the proper bushing. If push comes to shove and I cannot find these parts, then I will have to take the entire Garrett turbocharger assembly and install it in place of the KKK in my own 300 SDL here. So stay tuned. We'll keep working on uh, this for you KKK turbo owners, for you Garrett turbo owners. Hey, this is great. You're now going to be able to get the parts you need at a very reasonable price to uh, restore and rebuild these turbochargers yourself.